Welcome back guys. Today, as you can see, I have a couple of pin reels here. Now this one to your right is a pin 420SS and my dad gave me this back somewhere in the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, I can't remember the exact date. Uh, I know we were living in Panama City so it was no later than 92 I got this one. And then this one was one he bought a few months later. This is a 430SS and he bought it because this one was so nice but these things are you know about 30 years old so i'm gonna go ahead and replace some bearings in them clean them grease them and also so this one dad gave me a few months ago and i asked him i said why are you giving this to me and he 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 forgot at the time but anyway so the other day I got it out and this piece, there, there was a rattle in it. So I took the spool off and this piece was rattling around underneath the spool. And what happened is the screw fell out so I ordered a screw for it. But we're gonna install that properly. This, the bearing up top here, this is the, should be the bearing I ordered. That's gonna go up top. The, the old one was rusty when I took the spool off so we're going to go ahead and replace that. And also I bought, just went ahead and bought another one for the 420. Because this reel actually I was using the other day. And it needs to be gone through. It, it has some, some kind of uh, drag on it there. So I'm going to go through that one too. But we're going to go ahead and just start with the 430. We'll put the 420 to the side. And I'm going to take this thing down. I have some pin grease and oil. I'm gonna lube them up nice after we get them cleaned. And over here to your left, I just have tools that I think I'm gonna need. But let's go ahead and go through this thing, clean it up, and hopefully, if you guys have one of these, this will help you out. I'm gonna start off by just taking the spool off, and there's just a button here, and it slides off. And then, Go ahead and take the side plate off. Just have a flathead screw here. All right, and that looks pretty clean. <clears throat> you can hear some grinding in there. Now I'm, I need to take this pin out, then I can take the nut off to get this top piece off. So it's just pressed in the pin there. I'm just going to push it a little bit and then I can kind of twist it and get it out. Just don't squeeze it too hard. You don't want to bend it or crush it because it's just like a roll pin. This nut here, you can use a 3 8 deep socket to get it off. And then you have this piece right here to hold your spool on. What I do is just kind of press them in to allow the nut to go over the top. And that's off. And you can slide your that piece off. Now you can see we have a bearing here. That's going to hopefully be that bearing that I ordered. And you have a C-clip right here holding it in. So I just have a pick. And I'm going to try to pick behind. There's one side that has a notch. So I'm just going to try to get behind that notch and get it out. All right, as you can see, there's a little notch on this side of the C-clip, and I was able to grab it with my with my pick there, and there's the C-clip. Now that bearing should come out whenever we take the shaft loose here. 
So I'm just gonna get a flat head, take our shaft loose. Then I'm also gonna take this flat head off. Slide the shaft out here. Looks like it has a nice coat of grease on it there. Take that little arm off. We have a little bushing here. It goes underneath the arm. Okay, with your reverse locked out, you just turn the crank counterclockwise and it'll come off. Then you have a little bushing right there. And then the shaft comes out with the gear. And also you can see the lockout stuck to it also. Then behind that, you gotta be careful not to lose any of this stuff. This right here is the lockout. And I'm not worried about taking that off. I'm just going to leave it on there, clean it, and it'll be good to go. So there's a set screw here. And I'm assuming that's to let a brass, little brass collar slide out. And it's right there. We'll see. Yeah, I don't feel like trying to get that out because some of the, a lot of these parts aren't available to replace. So don't want to tear up anything. I'm going to leave that in there. Just clean it and grease it, and it'll go back together. I'll put my screw back in here. So now the only thing holding this in is our bearing, and it has some rust on it, so I'm going to have to give it just a little bit of help to get it out of there. Okay, I was able to get that bearing out, and what I did is, as you can see that shaft goes through there, I just came from the back with a little, little tap and uh, hit it with a ball ping hammer just a few light times, and it forced that bearing right on out. As you can see, the back side's a little rusty too. I don't know if you can hear that. That bearing is, uh, it's 30 years old, saltwater fishing, so I'm going to go ahead and replace that. Hopefully our new one is the same size. Yep, looks like the same bearing, so we're good. I'm going to go ahead and grab the parts and go ahead and clean everything. Then we can start going back together and lubricating it and we should be good to go. Okay, got her all cleaned up and just used some dry paper towels, some Q-tips. On these parts, I used a little bit of automotive carburetor cleaner just to spray it off, you know, some of these things. On the body, you might you wanna be careful with solvents because of the paint, but you could also just use hot water and dishwashing liquid and a toothbrush to clean all this stuff. That would be the safest way to go. But now we're just going to apply a little bit of grease to some places. Going to oil the bearing, grease some shafts, and put this thing back together. So this shaft has a little brass washer down, or a brass fitting down there that it rides on. So I'm just going to put a little grease on that. And slide it in. As you can see, it rides in that piece of brass down there, so that'll be lubed up good. Then I'm gonna put my bearing in, and there's nothing up top that it rides on other than the bearing, so I'm just gonna slide the bearing on, 
put the clip in and then that will get just some oil. Okay, you see my bearing is in there and just need to put my C-clip in. If you get the get one side started, then you can push the other side in and it'll all fall in. Just like that. And on the bearing, just use some of the oil. That way it creeps down into the bearing. The grease won't obviously get down into the bearing. So I'm just gonna put a couple of dabs on there. All right, feels nice. Now on this piece, make sure when you're cleaning it, you're real careful. You have your lockout piece here too, so that'll fall off. But it just clips around that little gear, just like that. So I'm just gonna put a little grease on this shaft and on the gear here. This part of the shaft also rides on a brass kind of bearing type thing. And I don't like to use a lot of this stuff if your reel sits up for a long time, this grease turns hard. So you have to all come back apart again. All right, and slide it back down in there. Also make sure it lines up properly. All right, right on that pin there. Okay. And that grease off that main gear just transferred to the pinion gear there. All right, now I want that piece to stay in, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my handle back on. Be sure to put the little washer back on before you put your crank on, or your handle. Okay, I went ahead and put the plate back on here with the little washer underneath it and then the shouldered bolt there and another little screw here or a shouldered screw. All right, next up is that piece that was missing. The screw fell out. I'm just going to throw that on there. It goes right here and the screw comes up from the bottom. Okay, she's all cleaned and put back together, greased. And now we can go on to putting the plate back on here. Go ahead and tighten that up real quick. And then we can move on to the spinning part. Okay, now on mine, I can feel some grit in the bail. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart and clean it. Now, when you take these off, there's gonna be little springs that pop off. So just be mindful of that. Let's go ahead and take the, the bail off first. Okay, and there's also a spring on this side. 
So see how that's dirty? I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up, take that off, take these two off, and you have the little return here. So when you're spinning, when your bail's open, you have a lever here that flips a lever here that will close your bail. And that's what this piece is for. It'll grab it and close the bail. Just a little lever mechanism in there. So let's get those off and catch all the springs. Like I said, this thing's 30 years old and I don't know if dad ever took it apart. So <clears throat> see right there, you got a little lever, a little spring. The lever has a notch in it. So you can see that notch, that's where the spring rides. So you know that this is the top. And you can see that lever right there. I actually don't, let's go ahead and take it out. And that lever goes just like that. There's a little dirt on it, so it'll be good to clean it. Clean in here. And you can see that grease is old and just kind of it's not not hard but it's not like it should be so we'll clean that put a little grease on it just like the factory did go right back together okay got this area cleaned up spring has a little hole there that it sets in and I got my plate cleaned up a little service pl cover plate here Let me set that back on there Okay, and you can see your spring right there will set in to this piece right there, that little hole. And then the other side, just need to clean it up. And this one drops on right here. Clean the plate up. I'm just going to put a dot of oil on that one. Let that soak in and put my plate right on top of it and my screw. Okay, now that that one's on with the plate, you want to put your spring in here. And your spring's going to set in that groove right here, the bottom portion. And then you have that hook on the top, which ma matches up with this lever. So you want to slide that that hook of that spring over that lever and then you want both of these to be clocked this way so that the cover can go on otherwise if it's pushed back the cover won't go on here just like that there you go now we can put our bell back on <clears throat> like I said, you need to line this side up with that spring there. So there's a little hole right there. You need to line it up with your spring. And I just noticed that these screws, they have a different size shoulder. So the chrome one goes on this side and the flat, I don't know if this has ever been replaced, but the flat one goes on this side. So I'm gonna swing this over. Just like that and screw.
and then tighten it up with a little bit bigger screwdriver. There we go. And see that lever right there? That's what I was saying will be flipped by this piece. So this little lever. Yeah, and just flip it like that. There you go. Now we can rejoin our two pieces. Slide that over. We have a square washer, as you can see right there. Drop that square washer on. Square washer sits like that. And then you have a nut that goes over. And like I said before, it's just a 3 8 Tighten that up. Okay. So one last thing, All right, for last piece for the bottom here is the roll pin. Slide that in. And just like I took it off, I just get a little pair of pliers and press it. So I press it until it bottoms the pliers, kind of offset my pliers, and then center it up, just like that. Now I have my little spool here, and I just want to take the top off, clean that drag, a little, it's like a little flex washer. So I'm going to clean that off, put a little oil on it. And go ahead and clean that off too. And you take that shaft out of there, put a little oil on it. See, there's a little grease right there. Wipe it out as well. A little dab on all these parts is all I'm doing. This needs to be has a little notch in it. See it. All right, so that one has a notch in it, and then this one goes on. And your little button goes on, or your tensioner for your drag. That's it. And now I can put my spool on. She's locked into place. Got my drag. There you go. She's all done. For an old reel, she feels really nice. And I'm gonna continue using these. I don't like the new plastic reels that we have nowadays. They just don't feel as nice and last as long. I mean, this is 30 years old. So this is gonna have to find a new rod because I don't have a rod for this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my 420, do the same thing, new bearing, clean it out. And also I was able to find a plate from a parts store because mine's been missing the plate for quite a few years. Found a new plate, gonna make it look nice 
and this will go back on a seven foot rod that I have out in the garage and continue to use it. So, see it just bound right there. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one up. Hope this helps you guys out. If y'all are messing with these old reels and you wanna clean them up and uh, you know keep using them, I would suggest you do, they're great. But that's gonna do it for today. See you guys next time.